right, Aquarius, let's get into this a weekly, next seven days, whenever you tap in, right? So, I heard, and they all live happily ever after. The end. So, Aquarius, before we get into this message, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new and you dig the vibe, go ahead and subscribe. If this is your second time, guess what? You are part of the tribe. You need to subscribe, too. Hit that notification button so you know when these videos premiere or if your girl happens to go live. I am open to do personal readings. You can book with me on my website. That is listed in the description box below. So Aquarius, let's go, okay? Um, Yeah, <laughs> look at this. Somebody really thought it was going to cause your loss. This two and this three equals five, five pentacles, which is financial and material changes in this day. But I feel like, you know, you made a move and people were saying that the move that you made is... Like, it puts you in a higher light. That's what I'm saying. Like, you made the right decision in a matter, and now you get to live happily ever after. The end, right? Like, that's pretty... Yeah, look, you were patient. Things balanced out, okay? Divine timing at play here. Patience, okay? Sagittarius energy. Okay, that's Jupiter energy. The will is turning in your favor. All right? Yes. Look... Ooh, child. I love to see it. Let me tell you something. Okay? Impress, yes, you are abundant. Something is birthing, you are birthing something now. Something is born or has been birthed, and they all live happily ever after. The end, this creation, whatever it is that you created, whatever seeds you have planted, right, has grown and blossomed into this full tree. Okay, Taurus Libra energy, beautiful. Look, oh, July, yes, it is. It, you're beautiful and abundant, you're, you're beaming. You're beaming, okay? And the universe, like, you worked so well with the universe. Yes, I love this for you, Aquarius, okay? Cancer energy. Yeah, look at this. And you're moving up. You're moving forward very quickly. A lot of you guys could also expect um, so, so, some sort of communication this week as well, okay? I'm hearing that you got the job, okay? Positive movement forward. Double eights here, 88. Something about abundance coming in. This don't necessarily got to be wealth. This could be health, baby, okay? But something good is coming. Yeah, look, all that resting. Whoo, child, I'm telling you, you're getting that, that big break. You find it like that peace that I felt that woosa come over me like mm, beautiful. Yes. So let's see what we got here. Aquarius. A two, two, two on a timer as I synced. Okay. I synced it. You could be seeing that. Okay. Things are balanced. Love it. <clears throat> you made the right decision here. Yes. You followed your heart. Heart chakra on open. Okay. God is love. You are moving out of that God, that godly complex here. You're getting blessed. You're receiving it. I'm, I'm loving it. <coughs> okay, let's do it. Don't, I, we're not going to do this on Aquarius. Don't be a hater because they being greater. Look at this. Look at this. I saw it. It's that wisdom card. Yes, baby. Taurus energy right here. But look, you got the keys, 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 keys. I am telling you right now. You stood true to who you are. Like I said, praise is due to the most high. You stood true to who you are, okay? You did not allow anyone to distort your image, to get you off path, to change your mind. You stay in your purpose and you have grown abundantly and beautifully. You have learned what you needed to learn and you have moved forward. And you are not, Toto, we not in Kansas no more. Hell nah. The Wizard of Oz, wisdom. You, child, let me tell you something. Like fantasy, fairy tale, and we all lived happily ever after. Look, click, 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 baby. You got the movie red slippers on. Let me. Oh, I can't make this up. You like Glenda the Good Witch, baby. You are Glenda the Good Witch. Somebody named could be Glenda. Look at this. Rejoice and celebration three three. You are in alignment here. You are in alignment for this material harvest because you went through these changes. Look at this. The emperor is right here. And what I said after this loss. You are stepping into this victory and success. Again, here's that patience showing up. You've been patient. You've been planning. You've been following. You've been breaking your curses, okay? Clearing your debts, okay? Learning your lessons. And somebody is sitting here jealous and envious, not learning the lesson, trying to throw obstacles and challenges in your way, making you a sacrifice. But guess what? Your confidence got these people in a frenzy because at the end of the day, you're still going to have this wish fulfillment. Look at these two hands. You and this emperor. Okay, or you just balance yourself out. Like I said, that seed you plant, you have sprouted. That tree, you have sprouted. And this is the fucking truth, okay? I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I love it. You know what? The bottom line is we just really need to see this emperor. This emperor sitting up top because that's the energy you in, okay? You are creating. You are flourishing, okay? whatever You are birthing new ideas, okay? 
you taking that 15 cent and you is making that dollar, baby. All right. You is, I'm telling you, you have learned so much along the way. You have applied all your knowledge and you have blossomed beautifully. And this got people in a frenzy. Okay. Um, what's the tea though? Because so far it's only been good shit. And I mean, obviously people is mad about it, but let's see. Yeah. Cause you done dodge hella bullets. You done dodge bullets out here in these streets, right? You heeded your own advice. And this is threat. Like somebody feels highly intimidated by you. Okay. Your power. All right. Somebody also could have been trying to threaten you as well. If somebody's ego is bruised. A spiritual hater. Look, these cards want to fall out. A spiritual hater. I ain't take that. Look, and it's in my face. Okay. So, yeah. A spiritual hater out here who hates on you spiritually, your light, your magic, your power, they're hurt. Big time. Ego bruised. They've been watching and stalking you. And every time they look up, 555 on my counter. <laughs> They ass is getting rocked. It's a tower for them because they just can't believe that you're still elevating. You're still growing. Okay. Your wisdom is key. The knowledge that you have, right? You have some sort of hidden knowledge and wisdom that they can't touch. They can't get into your books. They can't read your Akashic records no more. They don't know nothing of what's going on with you. All they know is that when they look up now, your wings don't flourish. I swear, that's wings behind. That's what it looked like. Yeah, you out your cocoon now, baby. Somebody was trying to keep you stuck. They was trying to keep you stuck like Chuck. Mm -hmm. Somebody they could be Chuck, yeah, again, because and they was threatened, intimidating. Somebody could have even been trying to threaten you to make you not move on, to not make you blossom and grow and grow. And guess what? You still did groom. Somebody was trying to groom you. Okay, somebody was trying to handle you. Somebody felt like you needed a handler. Okay. Yeah, rejected, but hell no to the no-no. <laughs> you got this, baby. You so do. And these people looking you up and there's nothing. They, they can't touch you. They can't. You got people upset that they can't touch you. They can't say anything to stop your shine, stop your flow, confuse you. None of that. And they keep bullying you, coming after you, trying to attack you, right? Um, you could be on social media or something like that. People keep leaving hate messages and stuff like that and trying to harass you in your comments, okay? They sending people to come and attack you. They watching your every move, praying on your downfall, hoping that you fail, and nothing is working. Nothing. These people are hooked. They're obsessed with watching you. And it's pissing them off because all they can do is watch you grow. When you want to talk about the Lord setting the table in front of them enemies, baby, let me tell you something. You is feasting right now. You are feasting. And it is eating these people up, these negative energies who want to be, look, with these bad reputations, who was trying to say that you was a terrible person, right? You knew to just, look, they receiving all types of bad karma out here in these streets. All types. Broke as fuck. <laughs> Child, look, and it ain't shit. Tell them, okay? Let's go. And like I said, and what happened with you? You get to live happily ever after, and that is the end. They cannot come back. They cannot pass go. You've been moving in silence. They don't even know where you at. They can't even catch up. They can't keep up with you. They can't find you, and they keep trying to start this drama. But they don't know. They can't even. They don't even know what area in your life that they can even start drama up with. They don't even know what's going on with you. Yeah, they ain't shit. And they starting to see this. And they feel like this and everybody else is seeing this too. Somebody also could be feeling this way because you rejected them. And now they online up here trying to sub-message you, sub-tweet, sub-Facebook, sub... I I don't know. They subbing you and all of this and talking shit about you or whatever. Everybody's realizing in reality, this person ain't shit. They feeling this way because they got rejected. They cannot get a piece of this pie. Yeah, and they cry. Like I said, because they're upset. Somebody People are realizing that this person is bitter. You got a bitter Betty, okay, on your hand, okay? Straight up. I don't care if Betty's got a penis or not. This person up here faking and stuff, acting like everything on good or whatever. But in reality, they need you. They need you. They need you to um go back and forth with them or whatever because they're a drama starter. And the, the thing is, the drama don't work if, if you ain't going back and forth. And this person needs this drama. They need the drama in their life. Yeah, because they're karmic. They're unhealthy. They're possessive. Somebody wants to control you. Somebody wants to put you in the same vibration that they're in because they don't like this growth that you have. But again, you're too wise to know that this person is full of shit and they're trying to get you caught up and make you look bad. And you're not going for it. And they're up. See, exactly. You're not going for it. You're so unfazed. And they are so bothered. <laughs> so, so bothered. <laughs> exactly. Holding a grudge. Okay. Somebody could be out here doing candle magic on you. Okay. Somebody is definitely doing some sort of seance, especially with all that smoke and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And fishing for comments. Somebody is definitely trying to see if you're going back and forth with them, if you're talking about them, if you worried about them. Yeah, exactly. They want to know if, if you out here worried about them or if you want them back in your life or something like that. Ciao. Bye. Aquarius has moved on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. They have moved right the jackpot. I'm telling you. 
You can ex go play the lotto. Go play the lotto. BDE right here. Exactly. This person out here, they want to be just like you and they can't be like you. They don't have the inheritance. They don't have the wealth. They don't have the wealth mindset that they have like you. This is somebody who likes to settle. They settle for the drama and the BS and that's all they're going to have. Facts. What is this? Yeah. And this person might be bankrupt as fuck. <laughs> They broke and they run and they bankrupt. Broke and bankrupt and they still trying to cop block and stop your blessings. They need to go sit down somewhere straight up because it's not looking good for whoever this is. Yeah. Personality disorder. They don't know who they don't know how to beat themselves. They don't. And this is why this person's hurt. We saw the impersonator. They can't keep up with you. They don't have the wisdom that you have. They don't got the keys that you have. They don't have the same morals and values as you, bottom line, as a person, no matter what they try to do. Okay? It's it's in you, not on you. Like, it's in you, not on you, okay? Those who know, they know. And this person want to feel like, oh, I can put on the same clothes or whatever and wear the same makeup or the mask, you know, of Aquarius. But nah, you don't got what Aquarius got inside of them. You don't got that wisdom. You don't have that heart chakra. Your heart chakra not open. It's not like theirs, okay? You're not connected. Okay, with well, that circle around here, her head, that reminds me of that awareness. And it's not just being aware of, you know, what's going on in the, in the 5D, but what it's circling around that whole body, this is also the 3D. You are very well connected. It's crazy. It's a 3 and it's a 5 here. You have literally learned how to bring down your 5D into your 3D. This person can't do you. They can't touch you like that. They, they're nothing like that at all. This per Yeah, with that Jupiter retrograde, this person cannot make any decisions or nothing for themselves. Okay, so what else? Let's expose these haters. <clears throat> expose these haters. Again, it's coming out, faced up. Okay, this person has a personality disorder. They don't know how to be themselves. They don't know who they are. They've been so busy trying to be like Aquarius, and now they pissed off because they can't keep up with you. They thought, oh, I got the same bag, or I bought the same sneakers like Aquarius. So, <laughs> and, and you broke now. You couldn't even really afford that shit. You just want to be like Aquarius, too, when you grow up. Yeah, the haters are mad because they see you winning, and they don't know what to do. Like I said, somebody could be doing candle magic and shit up here. Yeah, fake spiritualists, all right? Or they could have went to a dark high priestess to get some work done on you. So come on now, expose. Expose it, expose it, expose it, baby. Yeah, the person hating on you has narcissistic behavior. They sure do. Personality, this, look, they don't know shit. All they know is they, that they going crazy. They crazy. They fucking crazy. Yeah, this could be a lover here. Or this is somebody who deals with insecurities of their own body and their worth in relationships. They don't know their own value. They feel like the value is in that bag or those sneakers. They don't understand. Like I said, it's not what's on you. It's what's in you. This person doesn't understand the value of themselves in the inside on a soul level. Like they don't, they don't get the 5D. They don't understand that worthiness, that value there. They're so stuck in a matrix and watching you and seeing what you got. And they're not understanding that you have what you have in the 3D because of your connection in the 5D with the most high. What else? Let's keep exposing. Look, you might need to get a dream catcher and hang it over your bed. They could be trying to astral project or send you negative thoughts in your dream state. Or again, trying to tap back into those Akashic records. Trying to see what it is that you know. This is a scorn lover, okay? An old fling of your current or recent ex-partner who still has deep pain of rejection, which we saw up here in Betrayal, okay? And this don't even got to be like their ex or whatever. This could literally just be your own ex. This is somebody who is scorned. You don't deal with them. So now they're harassing you and talking about you. If it's not even just a lover, this could be a friend or somebody that you just don't deal with no more. You cut this energy off. Yeah, they're secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. Somebody don't like the fact that you moved on. This could, like I said, be legit just your ex. This could be, um, this don't necessarily got to be a romantic relationship, even though it says that this could be somebody who's mad that you got a new job, that you're just moved on and you're just doing better in life. Point blank period. Yeah, this is somebody who got low self-esteem. And this comes because they haven't healed their child wounds. Like they still have inner work that they need to do that they refuse to work. Exactly. But they don't know themselves. So it's like they don't even know where to start to address, you know, these childhood issues because they don't know who they are. They're, they've been so obsessed with trying to be like you. OK, yeah, you're going to witness this person's karma. This fucking clown, something about the color red, somebody mixing stripe. It's like, you know, you don't mix stripes. What they said, stripes with plaid or something or stripes with polka dot. That's what they usually say or back back in the day, you know, but now fashion is fashion. But it's like somebody tacky. Yeah, this tacky as fuck. Somebody had that as a title. And I think it was like, let me see. Somebody definitely had that as a title. Let me just confirm.
Yeah, the first week of um, the monthly for Virgo. This is tacky as fuck. So you can be dealing with a Virgo. You can have Virgo on your chart. But you're going to witness that karma. Exactly. Um, causing an unexplained body pain or numbness. Somebody could have a voodoo doll or something. Or again, because somebody wanted you, I'm hearing, to be incapacitated where you couldn't do anything. This person's about to be like that. Somebody could be um, getting stuck, like trying to be in a dream state. Somebody may not. They might end up with like sleep paralysis and not be able to get up or some shit like that. Somebody about to get their ass scared for fucking around with you. Yeah, the person causing you negativity is an air sign. This could be in their sun, moon, rising, north node, south node, or their Venus, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Yeah, and like I said, this is somebody who's doing dark magic. They're doing black magic or juju work on you, okay? Boom. I said that. Somebody could be doing candle magic. They paid the false specialist to come up against you and do some shit. Actually projecting and all of this. They doing that work. They putting in that work. And at the end of the day, that shit is hitting. When I tell you the backfire is hitting, especially with that God card sitting here, that backfire is hitting because you're going to be in your divine energy regardless of whatever. Like you are, yeah. Seek someone to perform or learn to do a hex breaking with you because somebody is really trying to curse you. Expose the haters. Expose these haters. Thank you. That's the three I need. Yeah, keep a pouch of protection on you, okay, or with you. All right. Yeah, mercury, mer mercury, mortuary. Ain't that like something with like with a dead are or whatever? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Mercury retrograde delays, problems, interruptions with transportation and communication. Something with the mercury retrograde. Somebody could end up in the morgue. I mean, T T W. Uh, but yeah. Is she supposed to be like a goat or a ram? I don't know. Capricorn, Aries, or Taurus type energy. Could be Virgo or Gemini here with this Mercury. We had air sign. Somebody could be ending up in a morgue or something like that. Ooh, Lord. Condolences. Yeah, because cause they secretly keeping tabs on you. I feel like this is so that somebody can't keep tabs on you no more. Because they, they doing a lot. Ooh, they doing a lot. Yeah, child. The dark entities are using these people to work against you. That dark entity is about to swallow their ass up. All right. Whew. Child Aquarius. That was deep. Let's see. Let's remind you why you don't need to care. For the next seven days, though. I mean, you doing good. But this is what's going on in the background. But let's remind you why you don't need to care. So, Divine Holy Spirit. What we got here for Capricorn. Why they don't need to care for the next seven days about this? Because you got too much going on. You got too much going on to be worried about that outside shit. The things that don't matter. The things that's trying to stop you. Yeah, it's okay to doubt. It's okay to delete some people out your life. I feel like that infinity by infinity is like love and blessing and abundance just like rolling into you. Like nonstop. Because somebody kept trying to block some shit. Now, you, it's about to flood in. With that fertility, I'm telling you, you're birthing something beautiful here. And they all lived happily ever after. Yeah, inhale, exhale, just relax. Meditate, breathe, chill out, okay? Hang out in your PJs over, the, you know, on your day off or whatever. You know, get you some good eats. But infinity by infinity, something's coming in and it's going to be lucrative. And it's going, like, they're not going to be able to break this or stop this. Like, this is something that's going to last for generations to come, okay? Yeah, because you're standing up for yourself and you need to continue to stand up for yourself, okay? Because doing nothing is fine. Like, don't feel pressure like you have to um, abide by some sort. I'm hearing some sort of societal norm. I don't know. That's a, I feel like that's a sign message for somebody. Or don't feel like you need to give in to someone, okay? Inhale, exhale. Just relax. Cool. Like, chill. Like, you're good no matter what these people are trying to do to you. You don't got to worry about it, okay? They're receiving bad karma. That's why they keep trying to attack you, okay? So, it's okay to doubt. <clears throat> All right? It's okay to question. Don't believe shit at face value. Like, I feel like, what what she say? Scratch a thief, tell, um, scratch a leaf, scratch, scratch a thief, tell a lie, or find a lie, or something like that. Like, I feel like you know how to get the truth out of somebody. Yeah, surprise. And it's going to be like, what the fuck? Because I am always a child. You're, you're healed. You've healed. I'm always a child. This card reminds me of doing the inner work and, like, allowing your inner child to be free. You've done the work. I feel like you're going to find out, like, you're going to realize who who hurt. Because <laughs> hurt people hurt people, but you're going to realize who's the unhealed person, who this is. And I feel like it's going to be something because they're going to, it's like, I don't know, it's something of their past or their childhood or something that they're going to bring up or they're going to trigger to you. And it's going to be like, yo, like, 
you still on that? Like, damn, you didn't that that type of stuff still bother you? Like somebody's gonna bring up something from like a long, long time ago that maybe you don't know about or has nothing to do with you. You weren't even around. And that's when you're like you're gonna know. And this person, this this is the energy that's upset because they've watched you heal and watched you, you know, elevate in life and like they just like they can't. Like they don't know who they are. Like they just can't. They don't know where to start or whatever. It's like they've been obsessed with just like trying to ruin and hurt other people because again, hurt people hurt people, but now this person is going through hella karma. Okay, yeah, and I deserve abundance. You so do. Okay. You could be on the Capricorn line because they got this card as well. So let's get your moonology, blues. Okay. Yeah. We got full moon tomorrow in Capricorn. So let's see Divine Holy Spirit. What we got here to close out for our lovely Aquarius. What they need to know. What does Aquarius need to... Ooh. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Okay. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. There you are. Yeah. And I feel like you've been loving on yourself. Continue to love on yourself. Okay. Don't be overworking yourself. You put in the work. You know what's up. Okay. And I feel like the answers, like I said, you're going to realize who this person is during this full moon. Okay. Like the answers you need are coming. You're going to figure out who it is. All right. Yeah. We got adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Okay. And then, yeah. Expect a powerful change. New moon eclipse. And let's see what's underneath the deck. Be bold, make the first move. Carnal energy, that's Capricorn, Aries, Libra, and Cancer. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Prosperity lies ahead, baby. Can't make this shit up. Jackpot. Okay. You got that money. That in here. That's how I said. Go play that lotto. You lucky. Have faith in your dreams. Okay. Know that you're going to win. Keep manifesting, baby, because it's time to take action. I feel like you've been taking action or by the next new moon. Take that action because there's a powerful change that is on the horizon. Yeah. You could be dealing with an Aries here. Okay. Because a fiery climax is approaching with this full moon. Like, it's the top. Like, things are coming down. This person is getting it. They're catching this karma because you're very close to achieving your goal. Like, serious, okay? And luck is on your side. Because guess what? At the end, they all live happily ever after. 22, 22 on my time. As I said that, guys, very much so balanced, okay? I love you. I love you so much, Aquarius. I love this energy for you, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I love your face, but not as much as I love you. So until the next time we speak, peace out, boo.